The following question is about finding uh, the molar mass MR of a compound and the question states that there is an oxide of nitrogen uh, and there are pollutant gases which are emitted from car exhaust and in urban traffic when a car travels 1 km it releases 0.23 grams so the mass is given of an oxide of nitrogen we don't know what that uh, what the formula of the oxide is and it occupies uh, 120 cm cube so it's a gas that's occupying 120 cm cube so we know uh, what we know is uh, we know the volume of gas so the volume of gas is 120 cm cube now using this volume of gas and he's talking about room temperature and pressure so uh, using the volume of gas we can find the modes of gas modes of gas would be are basically modes of gas is calculated using the volume of gas which is 120 divided by the molar volume of gas which in terms of cm cube would be 24000 cm cube so using this uh, using my calculator i'm going to solve this it's going to be 120 divided by 24000 and that gives me 5 into 10 is per minus 3 moles so it gives me 5 into 10 is per minus 3 moles so i found the moles of this oxide and i also have the mass of this oxide which is 0.23 grams so if you have moles and you have mass now moles is moles is equal to mass divided by the molar mass which is the mr we need to find the mr so that we can know how many nitrogen and how many oxygens there are so using this i already know the moles it's 5 into 10 raised per minus 3 moles using the volume of gas and i am given the mass which is 0 0.23 grams and i'm going to find what the mr is so the mr would be using my calculator it's going to be 0 0.23 divided by 5 into 10 raised per minus 3 so it's going to be 0 0.23 divided by 5 10 per minus 3 and the answer is 46 so the mr of the compound nx and oy is now known so it's nx and o y so the mr is known now the only way uh, the mr would be equal to 46 is that if uh, option b is correct because if you have one n and you have two oxygens so y is two then one n is 14 two oxygens that's 32 so 32 plus 40 uh, 14 would be equal to 46 so so the only option that's correct is option b because then the molecule is going to have an mr of 46